All right, let me see if I can get this. Uh, that's as far back as I can back this up. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna do a part two on that three chords, the D, A, E. So it's a three chord thing. I, I just did one earlier. I didn't give much info on it. Basically, you can really find right away all kinds of phrasing ideas, riff ideas, right out of the key of A major. All the scale blocks of A major, you know? So... scale positions of A major, but you can also use, so it's a D, three pentatonics that you can find good stuff out of is your F sharp minor, which is also A major. F-sharp minor pentatonic, which is also A major. You can also find stuff out of the B minor pentatonic, which is also from D major, but they all interact. You can use these things, can interact with one another. You can also use E minor pentatonic on the E or E major pentatonic, which is C-sharp minor. So on the, on the, uh, the A, so if you learn your pentatonics, the five shapes, scale, you know, positions, and they repeat themselves, and you know how to move them to any key, you can find this stuff with ease. Most of you know what an F sharp minor pentatonic is. But it's also A major. If you go A to A. And it's also your B minor pentatonic. And then for you, so that's over those, over the D and the A, you can use them, and over the E chord, you can use E major pentatonic, which is... Awesome, e, I, I would mix up E minor pentatonic in that and E major, because uh, it holds the E for two bars. So let's just use a... I'll just play a few notes, I'm not trying to perform to it, to this.
when it's on the D, uh, and I, again, I screwed up a lot because I'm not even sure what I'm going to play. I just know they'll fit. But you could keep it just minimal. Right, right, and when it gets to that A, I'm on the C note, and I'm going into A major pentatonic. And then I'm going up in, in E minor, E major pentatonic, but on that E, you can also mix in, you know, mix in E major with the E minor blues riff. That kind of thing, you know, when it's on the E chord, but on the D, it's only there for a short time, and you could use your A major pentatonic over both the D and the A chord by just riding off that F sharp note. That kind of thing, you could ride off of just the B minor, uh, kinda to the to the A, uh, you know, to a point. You know, you want to really harmonize when it goes to that chord. But on the on the A, the F sharp minor pentatonic, that F sharp note's killer to the D chord. You got those options, but I'm just saying for location, if you wanted to play chord to chord, the D. You, all right, so let me try to demonstrate again. When it's on the D, I'm going to use a little bit of B minor pentatonic. It's only for one bar, so you, you're only going to squeeze in a couple of notes. <laughs> F-sharp minor pentatonic of both. So that F-sharp minor will work killer over the D and the A chord if you use it right. anything out I mean I just know those will work but you can sit there and work out whatever you're capable of doing to nail it to the chords but you can find a lot of cool stuff just in your pentatonics for that DAE chord uh, 
and uh, with your B minor pentatonic, which is also D major, with the F sharp minor pentatonic, which is also A major, and you can use that when really and ride it a lot over with the D and the A chord, and then your E, you know, you can do E major pentatonic and mix in some minor blues pentatonic with it on that second bar that it plays and give it some flavor, you know? Uh, so there you go, just another little tidbit. I do this just for something to do. You can hear the laundry in the background. And uh, So this is part two, looking at your pentatonics that you can use for those three chords.